Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 20, Expression 2 series, where we're going to be taking a look at Bitwise. Now, Bitwise mimics Boolean Algebra in the sense that it has AND, or, or, and it has AND as well, and XOR, and NOT, and SHIFT left and right. So, this really focuses at looking at bits, as opposed to um, AND in traditional uses of AND, OR, and IF conditional statements. So let's start by saying a is going to equal 0 and b is going to equal 0 as well. And we're going to have if, we'll say b or ab, then we're going to say print sup biscuits. And I have a feeling I'm going to be saying sup biscuits a lot, so I'm just going to put a counter here in the right hand corner. Alright, so when we say 1 right here, it's going to have put sup biscuits. When we put a 1 right here for A, it's going to say sub biscuits. However, when neither one of them are on, there's no biscuits for you. Okay, now we go to AND, right? So B AND. So that requires that both A and B be 1 for biscuits to be produced. So we'll say sub biscuits with 1 AND. In all other cases, you don't get any biscuits. That doesn't count as a sub biscuits for the counter, but that did. All right, so now let us go to B X OR, right? So this is going to require that A and B be opposite of each other for sub biscuits to be produced. So we got sub biscuits and we got sub biscuits. And here, no biscuits. All right, now we have the not. All right, so not. And then we're gonna just gonna say, or just gonna say right here, not A, which is zero, which is going to turn it to a one, which is going to sub biscuits. And alternatively, there are no biscuits for this action. All right, so now let's say we want to have another uh, reference here for how many bits are we going to analyze when we're negating here? Well, we only have one bit for A. Remember, a bit is how many integers right here there are. So we have six individual bits. If you're confused about this, I would recommend the Digital Logic series, which I'm working on at the moment. But anyway, not A, analyzing one bit, sub biscuits. So that's all in good. Now something fancy about bitwise, which I really like, is that there is the shift left and the shift right. So we have, let's say, print says sub biscuits, and I'm gonna save you from sub biscuits, and that's the last sub biscuits you'll hear. Is B shift left. We will say some number and some number. So this first number is going to be what we're shifting left, and that's going to be A. Now, when it does a shift left, it takes an integer, converts it to binary, and then shifts it over a certain number of bits. So if we were to take 1 and we were to shift it over, remember 1 in binary is this. So if we shift it over left, it's going to become 1, 0, which is 2 in binary. All right, so we'll see an output of 2 here instead of sub biscuits. And I lied, that wasn't the last sub biscuit shoot here. Sub biscuits. All right, so now if we put 2, it's going to shift it over 2. So now it's going to become a 4. All right, and likewise, 3, we have an 8, and 16, and 32, and you get the point. So 32, if we're going the opposite direction, we'd start to emphasize this integer to binary conversion right here. So we're going to start with 32. Instead of shifting to the left, we're going to shift to the right, and we're going to do one shift to the right. So instead of this number, which is 32, I think it's 32, so we got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, nope, not, this is 32. So we got 32, we're going to shift to the right, and now we're going to have 16 as the answer. Okay, so 32, convert to binary, shift to right, 16. And if we do 2, then we have 8, and going back downwards to 4, to 2, to 1, to zero. So anything actually above the number of shifts will just give you a zero if you're curious. Um, otherwise, I mean, that's going to really cover everything you need to know. I mean, you can use like string conversions and stuff with the two number and two string, but you have to put the number two inside. So you'll have some number, you'll say two string, and then you say number right here, which would be two, and vice versa for the string to number variant. But anyway, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave some in the comments below. So then I will see you next time. Biscuits.